Hello my darlings and welcome to my spell oil series. Today I'm going to share my recipe for banishing oil. This spell oil is used to remove harm and negative influence. Let's do some magical crafting. This video is part of a series where I share recipes for 12 very popular spell oils. If you're interested in more oil recipes, please check out those other videos. I'll link to them below. You can also watch a video in which I create a book of shadows page for each of the spell oils in the series. And if you'd like to download a PDF of any and all of my grimoire pages, you can visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, book of shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs. And I'll continue to add new, downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. I put this printable sheet on my Patreon as well. This sheet includes a label for each of the 12 oils in the series. You can print it out on label paper or print it on regular paper and glue, tape, or decoupage it onto your master bottle. If you'd like to download a PDF of the label sheet, you can visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. Spell oils are also called conjure oils, and they're used in witchcraft, voodoo, hoodoo, and root work. Their uses are as varied as the people who make them. Banishing oil is used to rid yourself of bad habits, negative energy, people, and situations. Use this spell oil to remove harm and negative influence, break curses or hexes, and keep harmful people away from your home, office, or person. Before I talk about each ingredient and what it adds to the oil, I feel like I need to say that this is my personal oil blend. You can find many recipes for this oil in books and online. The ingredients will always differ slightly. When making your own banishing oil, you should incorporate the ingredients you have on hand that provide the effects you want in your oil. As always, my tutorial should only be a starting point for you to develop your own craft. I encourage you to use what feels right for you and what you have access to. There's no need to buy expensive herbs or spices unless you want to. You can use any bottle you have on hand for spell oil. I chose this tall, thin bottle, but one with a wide opening can be a bit easier to add herbs into. This is called the master bottle. All of the ingredients are mixed into this bottle. I usually start with the dry ingredients, then add the essential oils, and finally add the carrier oil. You can do this the opposite way if you prefer to start with the main oil. I included basil in my oil because I consider it a common herb and most people have it in their pantry or easy access to it. Among other things, basil is a protective herb and can be used to ward off harmful spells. If you don't have many of the less common herbs, you can always use basil in your recipe. Use what you have on hand. Wormwood is generally good in protection spells and is also an herb for getting retribution by sending harmful magic back on its sender. This is why I included it in my banishing oil for repelling curses or hexes. This plant also possesses a strong protective energy. Never ingest an oil infused with wormwood. It can be toxic. Rue is a wonderful herb to add to banishing oil. Since ancient times, rue has been highly revered for its powerful protective properties. It was said to be able to ward off even the devil himself. Rue protects against the evil eye, against unwanted spirits, and illness. Rue is also said to protect against nightmares and may be used to safeguard astral journeys. It can also be used for cleansing or consecrating a sacred space or ritual tools. In my banishing oil blend, I use angelica root. It's a powerful guardian plant that banishes negativity and attracts positive energy. Angelica grows in tall, blossoming stalks, but typically only the root portion is used in spell work. 
carry a piece of angelica root to bring strength and ward off hexes. Lemons are a fruit used for cleansing. Infuse the peel in oil and use the mixture as a wash for magical objects to remove unwanted negativity, especially for objects received secondhand. Used in clearing magic to break negative ties, lemon peel is used for repelling the evil eye, cutting unhealthy attachments to the past, and lemon peel is used for clearing out old attachments, romantic and otherwise. It can also be used to protect from jealous and envious people. Another common household spice is black pepper. I used black peppercorns in my recipe, but ground black pepper is just as effective. Used in spells and charms that banish negativity and protection from evil, black pepper is also used in exorcism. At this point, once it's infused for a few weeks, your banishing oil will have a lemony, peppery, and herbaceous scent to it with these six ingredients. The final item is one of the strongest banishing herbs for repelling evil, reversing hexes, and jinxing enemies. It's called asafoetida powder, also known as devil's dung and food of the gods. It's a foul-smelling herb used to fend off negativity. One of the strongest and most pungent banishing herbs, asafoetida is used in exorcism and purification rituals to deflect hostile magic. Use this herb to assist in making someone who's bothering you leave you alone. However, I must add a warning that if you include this ingredient in your oil, you will be changing the scent profile drastically. The oil will change from a lemony or herbal scent to a pungent and unpleasant smell. Asafoetida powder will overpower all the other ingredients. I've added my dry ingredients to the master bottle so far. Now is the time I add my essential oils. You can always substitute essential oil for dried herbs or vice versa. Use whatever you have on hand. I decided to add lemon essential oil to add a boost of lemony scent and boost my lemon peel. And I added some additional basil magic with some essential oils as well. With all the dry ingredients and essential oils in the master bottle, it's time to fill the rest of the master bottle with the carrier oil. The oil I'm using is olive oil. However, you could also use castor oil, which is often used in blends that deal with protection and absorbing negativity. Coconut oil is also used for protection. However, you can use any carrier oil that you have on hand. Once the master bottle is full, allow the herbs to steep inside for three or four weeks, shaking occasionally to mix them. Once the oil has steeped sufficiently, you can strain the herbs out of the oil using a cheesecloth lined strainer, if that's your preference. I like to leave my herbs inside the oil. Keep the bottle tightly closed and store it in a cool place out of sunlight. This way, it could last from a year up to 18 months. There are a number of ways that you can use banishing oil. It can be used to anoint or purify your altar or your divination tools to clear negative energy from them. As long as you don't have any allergies to the ingredients, it can be worn on the body as a means to keep negative people away from you. You can rub some on your doors, floors, and furniture to banish unwanted energy in your home, or put a few drops in the bath to help rid yourself of bad habits. You can even put a few drops at your desk or office at work to help stop negative influences from affecting your work. Of course, you could also perform a banishing spell with it. If you decide to make banishing oil, I hope that this video has given you some ideas for ingredients and that you manifest the results that you desire.